What's good everybody, it's H back with another 12 Hub TV video. Got a special one today that I was really looking forward to. Finally got these two things in hand. But first I wanna give a shout out to everybody who's been supporting the channel and liking all the content. As you may have known from the last few videos that we've done, we are doing a giveaway. We're giving away a pair of Jordan 11 Low White Concords and a pair of Nike Space Hippie 04s, both in size 10 and a half, which is the only size we got right now. But look, like I said in the other video, flip them, drip them, whatever you got to do. It's a free shoe, whatever. So link in the description on how to do everything for that. Uh, we're doing it in collaboration with Detail Games, the gaming channel. Love those guys. They're killing it. Also want to give a shout out to Chinatown Marketplace for the amazing t-shirts. Got all three of them of the Mike Tyson collab. Crazy, crazy collab. Um, Mike Tyson with the Chinatown Marketplace uh, gloves on, the Chinatown Marketplace tee on. Crazy. They're truly trying to give Supreme a run for the money when it comes to celebs and other people wearing their brand on a t-shirt. Or I don't even know if this is really him posing, but whatever. I know Chinatown Market does a lot of bootleg stuff. So, uh, which is cool too. I love it. I love it when they, they, they bootleg the Gucci or the, um, I have the, um, the mask that says born again, Christian Dior, like things like that. Love it. Uh, support it. I buy their brand all the time. So, you know, check out their gear whenever you can. So yeah, our new shoe that we're looking at this week is the Nike and Stussy Kukini Spiridon Cage 2. Whew, that was a tough one to get out. Long ass name, but dope ass shoe. I was a little skeptical when I saw these at first. I was like, eh, I don't know. But um, I ended up copping them, was lucky enough to get both. I got one on Stussy.com, the black one. And then I got the white one off of the Nike sneakers app. So did not strike out. Like the Stussy thing, I thought I saw the thing link pop up on a Twitter feed and I was like, oh, let me go in. Went there, check out was easy. Got it. I think a lot of people didn't really know it was dropping, and apparently the black one's a little more limited, limited than the white. So that being said, let's just get right into these boxes and a little explanation of where these shoes are coming from. So one, I'm just gonna pull out one shoe of each. Ready? Pre, prearrange these. So there, there's the there's the white, there's the black. Okay, so the black and the white. You got a hint of very bright orange in there, and a hint of very vault green in the black so kukini what does it mean first off the word kukini comes from ancient hawaii there were these elite class of men athletes warriors whatever you want to call them that were very swift on their feet the elders and everybody around would call them the kukini and that carried over culturally over the years into myth and legend, as you can see. And Nike, of course, borrowed it and threw it on a shoe. 1999, let's fast forward to there. The first Kukini comes out, check it out right here. These had styling just like this. And I believe the first three iterations had this webbing like here. And I think back, back then Nike was doing a lot of crazy stuff with like this type of weird plastic mesh mesh and webbing stuff all over their shoes like it looked cool i guess and that's what they were doing so three iteration that then they switched it up a little bit for newer renditions of the shoe and then i believe it disappeared around 2004 or 5 and retroed again the original version that this mimics in 2011 with a few different shoes. I don't know, I might have flopped because I never heard of them, but I wasn't a sneaker person back then, so I don't know. Long story short, they come back now on this Nike Stussy collab and they bring that Spiridon caging air zoom unit that I love so much. I don't have a pair of Spiridons at all, like a regular pair or the Stussy pair that came out earlier this year but I want to try them. I'm, I'm keeping one of these pairs. I'm not sure which one just yet, but hopefully after this review, I will let you know. So let's just get into each one of these. First of all, like I said, it's got that, 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 that webbing. Looks like it's not <laughs> dripping off the shoe to be honest, especially on this black one. It's a very, it's like, it, it's, it's a little translucent, very pliable. The bottom here, this is cool. Soft, this is a softer um, foam rubber 
and this is all rubber here with a firmer rubber plate here that's translucent with a little little blotchy styling there and the Nike check and the Stussy right here. So that's awesome. It's got a nice branding on the bottom. Hard plastic and rubber plate right here between uh, to split up that midsole. And of course your, your Spirit On Zoom Air cage unit right there. You can see the Zoom Air exposed. Love that. Great shoe, vault inside, all that good stuff. Zoom air to boot, beautiful. And the Stussy, got a little Stussy. Classic brand, classic. Back to the other shoe. Let's just let's just turn off the lights for this one. Boom. So you can actually see it. I'm just turning off the light. Bam. There you go. White. Everything I just said, but in white. <laughs> there you go. As I look and feel this shoe, I'm starting to dig the white one a little bit more. I was more in tune with buying or keeping, I mean, the black one. But as you can see them side by side, let's take that light off again. Side by side. I'm starting to like the white one. The only problem is I don't have enough black shoes, like like just black, black shoes that look cool like this. The, the, the fact I'm not really digging this, in my opinion, that looks like it's dripping snot. <laughs> so I'm not like, not really feeling that too much. But overall, the shoe to me is cool. Um, I'm going to just keep this one up here for example purposes. Now, it's kind of narrow right here, so a lot of people ask, is it wide foot friendly? In my opinion, it is, just because of the overall build right here. All this elastic material, the webbing, the way it already looks like it's expanding out. So once you put this on your foot, think wide foot, boom, it gets wide right here when you step. This does not matter. It's already lunging out on the sides, as you can see. So wide foot, I would say no problem getting in here. True to size, yes. I already tried them both on. I have a little tiny bit of wiggle room, my size 12, so you could fit true to size. Uh, and I would say that um, overall comfortability, it is a uh, seven. You know, typical Nike ever. Not not the softest of foams out here, but I don't think these are meant for that. This is a this is a um, retro, so it's not the craziest of foams and it um, really is all about the Zoom Air unit right here. So, long story short, very dope in my opinion. I'm still torn because this white one, I am slowly falling in love with and want to keep. The black one, not so much. Anyway, you tell me which one I should keep in the likes and comments below. I have really nothing else to say about this shoe but the fact that it is dope and we are going to keep it moving with more and more stuff for y'all in another video. So like and subscribe, tell me what y'all think of these two shoes. I mean, they're the same shoe, but yeah, you tell me which one of these you like, which one of these you want me to keep and you know, uh, I'll let you know. Remember to give away, go down in the uh, comments, look at that click on the links for those things and we will get back to you with more in another episode. Peace.